What's up Otakon goers? I am really freaking exhausted. This is day one of Otakon and it is the last year that it is in the inner harbor of Baltimore because next year it's moving to DC where it will stay for five years because Otakon has kind of grown out of the BCC's size. But uh, yeah, so it's the first day. I already feel like I'm dying, which is kind of a new record for me being at a convention other than the one time I got sick right before Katsukon, and then I felt like I was dying on day zero, but I felt better by like day two and day three. But uh, no, it's day one of Otakon. I'm really freaking tired because I have been working a lot at my day job and I've been coming home very tired and I kept staying up a little bit later than I should have this past week trying to like get panel stuff done and then I had to wake up early this morning because I was presenting a panel at 9 a.m. called cosplaying as a beginner and it went really well like I was surprised that so many people came to the panel like it was almost completely full so uh, if you came thank you uh, I'm kind of surprised that people came to a 9 a.m. panel on Friday, but you guys are the real winners. I couldn't even make it there in cosplay. <laughs> it's, uh, it's 2.42 on a Friday. I don't think I've ever gotten changed into a costume this late because it is, I think I want to say it's like 95 degrees out plus humidity, which is never that good in Baltimore, <laughs> but uh, it's especially bad this year, and I only got four hours of sleep because unfortunately our hotel is facing construction. Not that construction was happening, but this morning was a little bit noisy after I woke up. But uh, last night I just couldn't sleep because we had drunk people outside shouting. And then there was like a loose manhole cover and like every time a car drives over it, it makes like this really loud boom, boom, and I can't sleep with that. So I didn't actually fall asleep until past 2 a.m. and then I woke up like four hours later just because I did and I didn't really ever fully fall asleep again when I got up at 7 10 so uh yeah it's kind of been a really tiring day I'm really freaking tired I'm ready for a nap now I'm about to put on a costume because I already said I would get photos with somebody and she's a friend and I'm paying her and I don't want to screw her out of a shoot because that would be really, really rude. Don't ever do that to people. Um, yeah, so I'm sweaty and gross and probably going to go take a shower already. Even though I took one last night and it's like the afternoon but it's so gross because I need to shower before I put on this costume otherwise I'll just be like disgusting. Even though I'm just going to be disgusting the moment I go outside so like whatever, whatever I do, I'm, it's a losing game. Anyway, uh, despite my awful start to Otakon 2016, hopefully it turns around and I hope you keep watching. Hey, here's another check-in for Friday. I actually put on a costume and it was okay for the first hour or so. Even though it was raining, it was not raining too hard. I had an umbrella. It was all all right. But uh, then I, I got photos. And after that, I went back to the con, and I was like, this is okay, this is okay. And But then I was starting to feel tired, and I was like, you know what, let's go to the hotel room, let's get changed, let's get out of this sweaty mess. And the moment I walked outside, I was like, the sleeves are literally sticking to me, oh my god, this is disgusting. But yeah, rose, I did rose. There are things I want to improve about it. I'm pretty sure this is too long, and I want to make it shorter. Like, I don't know, like here? Something like that. Um, I think my wig's a little too long. Uh, I still don't have her hair thingies. I just didn't have time to do them. I figured out of the whole costume they were probably the least important. Um, yeah, I got my panelist badge. I have another panel tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. I had a sunrise shoot scheduled with a friend, but I'm just really freaking wiped and I can't do it. So I already told him that I have to cancel. Um, which fortunately, like, isn't too bad, because he was already having, he was going to do this with, like, other friends, too. So, like, he'll still get to do this sunrise shoot with other people. Uh, wow, it's just, wow, it's been a day. Not even a busy day, it's just been a tired day. Very, very tired day. Uh, yeah, Rose, yeah, very cool. She's my faves Asteria girl. She's my faves Asteria character. I need 
to make this fit a little bit better. It's definitely a little big. Yeah, oh well. You know what, that's what happens when you end up working like nine to seven for a lot of days of the week and then you get married and then you get sick and you work more nine to seven days. And yeah, that's what leads to not super great costumes. But you know what? I still had an okay time today. I had a good time with my friend who was taking photos of me in the costume. We talked about Rose and Alicia a lot because we ship them and it's the best pairing, honestly. Whatever. Um, I'm going to go get dinner with my family soon because they're coming into Baltimore to visit. I need to go wash the crap off of my face because, oh my god, I'm dying. Alright, see you tomorrow. Hey, quick check-in. It's like Saturday, maybe 11.30 a.m. I had uh, the Tails panel at 9 o'clock. A lot of early rides is there. I was really surprised how many of us were awake. If you did go to the Tails panel, thank you so much for going. I was super tired, and I think it showed sometimes. <laughs> However, I think everybody had a really good time. Thank you so much for coming, and it's like 100 degrees today. So, uh, I'm gonna change out of this costume because I'm sweaty. Bye.